A lot of people think of strategies as being synonymous with planning, um, but it's not, because a plan is something where there is a sequence of events leading to a desired uh, outcome. And you have to assume that if you start uh, at one point, the, the, which move will build on the one before and take you to where you want to be. And you only have to say it to realize how unlikely this is going to be in situations involving other willful human beings. Very famously, von Moltke, the great Prussian um, field marshal, observed uh, that uh, no plan survives contact with the enemy. My favorite happens to be Mike Tyson's uh, observation. Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> Uh, so, a plan isn't a particularly good way um, to think about strategy because for the, all the reasons I've given, they don't, uh, they don't work out as you would expect. Secondly, from what I've said, it's important it's, to see it's, not, it's more than a duel. Often strategy is presented as a duel, uh, as if the, you have one opponent. So, say you are fighting Mike Tyson and he, he looms large and menacing. Uh, well, one way you might uh, do it is to try to trick him in some way, to look at the early fights of Muhammad Ali, but another way is to break the rules completely and bring in somebody else to help you. Coalition formation actually seems to me to be one of the most important features of successful strategy, finding somebody else to help you. Now, it's important to say that because a lot of writing on strategy, uh, which is influenced by uh, I'd say particularly by Sun Tzu, uh, because uh, it's very aphoristic and uh, you can read into it a, a lot of whatever you want to read into it. But the great thing about Sun Tzu, uh, the you know, sort of Chinese strategist uh, from way back when, um, is that actually it says you're going to beat your opponent by being cleverer than them. Um, and then you get the idea of Sun Tzu quite quickly, basically, whatever the opponent thinks you're going to do, you do the opposite. But the basic problem is it's great um, until you find somebody who's as clever as you are, or indeed cleverer. Um, uh, and uh, it's, I mean, who wouldn't want a strategy that assumes that, you're, that it's your cleverness that's going to win the day? It appeals to everybody's vanity, but isn't necessarily a good way uh, or the only way of getting results. And there are a number of problems with a, a, a Sun Tzu type strategy. In, in the book, I, I look at David and Goliath, which is a, uh, there's everybody's underdog beats, uh, beats the giant uh, uh, iconic moment. Uh, actually, the importance of David and Goliath is, is about, uh, the original relevance was about belief in God. It wasn't anything to do uh, with cleverness. It was about belief in God as being the thing you need to be successful in war, um, but everybody knows it as, as, as a story of, uh, uh, of David in a sense, a form of asymmetric warfare where he has this uh, giant clad in, in armor and he picks up some stones from a, a stream and uh, gets his sling and knocks Goliath down, chops off his head um, and the, the, uh, the Philistines retreat. And it, uh, it was brilliant as far as it goes, but it's not hard to work out the problems with that strategy. First, it depended on the knockout blow. Uh, so if it had just pinged off his armor, that wouldn't have been particularly effective and you'd have looked rather vulnerable. Uh, secondly, it required the Philistines to accept that this was a reasonable outcome of something they thought was going to, de going to develop in a different way. Uh, and third, of course, you can only do this once. Next time, the giant is going to be better prepared. Um, and that actually, if you look historically, that's been the problem with, with, with the sort of the great sort of tricksters uh, and crafty figures, whether it's, uh, uh, say, Odysseus uh, be, being the, uh, the, the original archetype, uh, is nobody believed a word they said because they knew they were tricksters. Uh, you can do it once, but you can't keep on doing it. So it seems to me that the... Uh, uh, the why strategy is one uh, that involves not relying on your cleverness, though cleverness is useful 
and, and intelligence is, is always worth applying. But actually, the, the most effective strategies when you're an underdog is to find friends uh, or supporters uh, or even people who just happen to have a coincidence of interest.